Guys from Jive Cool Drink. By the way, that Jive Cola, I drink that like you can't believe it. Awesome stuff. Right, eight laps of uh, Burberine GTR action as the lights go on and off, and away we go. And a horrible get off the line there from David Lopez. We got a massive accident. It's our cars in the hall. It's chaos. Major, major, major accident. I just saw cars rolling. I saw Claire Duplessis view off to the right. It's a massive smash. There's a lot of cars out of this one. We've got a car on its side. We've got a car crumpled up against the wall. We've got Mauro Roo that's getting out of his race car. Major, major, major carnage. Lopez is in the wall. Woo! Big one. I just saw Lopez at the five second pedal. Moves out the way, the red lights go on, and off we go with the second start of the GTI Challenge as uh, the field rolls down. Well, there we go. Oh, Marco Busi off the second, Busi on the track, and now oh, he's all over the park. The cars, woo! Marco somehow kept it on all four wheels. Neon the toy was right up against the wall. No contact made though, Neon has rejoined, he's right at the back, Marco Busi almost upended that thing, how the heck he kept that motor car on four wheels, I don't even think he knows, my goodness I've never seen a driver fight with a car to keep it on all fours like Marco Busi has done, but Marco is fighting back, Marco is fighting back, He's now in one, two, three, four, five, six. He's about eighth or ninth right now. Wow, it's absolute mayhem out there. Busey has got the general and pumping, and this boy is on a roll as they work their way out of four. But it is now Shane the Toy down the back main. Bessie Bester in second place. Then it's Faisal Jacobs. Craig the Toy has got Saki Hendricks up on his inside. Eden Thompson is the next one, and here comes Marco Busey. Busey goes past Pet van der Welt. I think Anwar uh, Epon Levy might just be the next one as they roll down into Cape Town Corner. It's a train that it works its way out of five. Action personified, France. Well, I tell you what, these boys have come to all early days. And uh, Marco Busi clipping the under toys, they came down into uh, KFM. And uh, that clip caused absolute mayhem. But the under toy coming through like a slow train as he comes down into KFM. Late on the brakes, dives towards the inside now. He's also regained position. I think he's, I think him and Mr. Busi have got an account to settle this afternoon, Frankie. I'll tell you what, it's been mayhem, it's been carnage. We've had accidents, we've had it all. It's only just the second, third race of the day. Shane the Toy leads him out of engine corner. Busi Bester sits in second place. Then there's a little bit of a gap before we get Faisal Jacobs. Marco Busi now works his way on the inside of Zaki Hendricks. As the field runs down into turn three, Zaki is still the leader of Class B. Behind him it is Neon the Toy that's trying to fight back after him and Busi almost rolled the cars going into KFM corner. <coughs> While he leads Class B, second in Class B now is Eden Thompson. Thompson has slid, slid through on the inside of Craig the Toy. So it's Thompson the Toy, then it's Piet van der Welt leading Class C. Is Ephraim Levy second in class C is Sherwin Williams, but he has sorry Josh Williams, but he has got uh, Paul Simon up on his inside. Well, he has an interesting tussle developing as they come out of uh, turn five. It's uh, Busi, and uh, Busi has got uh, Neander Toy on the outside, and I tell you what, yeah, they're coming down towards us now. I tell you, Nian de Doy wants to come back at uh, Marco Busi, so the fight is on, as they would say. And uh, Nian de Toy looking towards the inside there now. I think Busi knows he's going to have a fight on his hands. And uh, your leader, Shane de Toy, going up uh, the U Bear straight. Then it's Bessie Bester. Uh, behind Bessie Bester now, it'll be Marco Busi. Behind Busi, it's the Toy. And uh, they take her into the right hand there in engine. Busi taking a tight line, putting, stepping out a bit as he comes out. It's uh, the toy up behind him, and uh, behind the toy there, it's uh, Faisal Jacobs. Jacobs in the polo there, fighting back there, holding on to a credible uh, fifth position. So the drivers make their way up the KFM straight there, Frankie. Well, going back to Class B, that's been uh, led there by 
Zaki Hendricks, the chairman of GTI Challenge for 2015. Zaki Hendricks leads Class B behind Zaki. It is a hell of a fight further down in that class. Hendricks comes down the back straight. There he goes with a uh, golf two behind him. It is Craig De Toy, Eden Thompson and Piet van der Walt. They are second, third and fourth in Class B. Now Thompson goes up on the out, the inside. Oh, the Craig De Toy. Ah, he's off the track. He's off the track. Going down into five. Wow, he's going to rejoin Ooh, right in front of uh, Lopez. He's going to join in front of Lopez. How the heck? He never slammed into a wall or anything down in five. He managed to keep it away from everything as he rejoins ahead of, um, of uh, Damien Lopez. Then uh, behind him it is Epram Levy. That's the Class C leaders. Epram Levy leads in Class C. Second in Class C is Paul Simon. Third in Class C. He is uh, Josh Williams, Levy Simon Williams and Jonathan Aberdeen is fourth in Class C. But France's leader uh, making his way, that is Shane de Toy out of row sweep up the KFM straight. Shane de Toy on a credible first position there as he goes up KFM towards turn four. Behind him, Bessie Bester. Bester's been closed down now by Nian de Toy with a great recovery after that uh, opening instant. And behind him is uh, his fellow uh, Bo. Marco Bussi, they got on out of turn four. Marsby down the back straight now. So one, it is uh, the toy. Second, Bessie Vesta now being closed down by Neander Toy and brings with him Marco Bussi as they go down. Uh, behind them it is uh, Faisal Jacobs. Then it's Zaki Hendricks. Behind uh, Hendricks it is Craig de Toy. Craig de Toy brings Piet van der Volt with him. Van der Volt now also looking to close down there as they go towards turn five. Your leader then comes out of turn five now towards us. That is uh, Shane de Toy. Shane de Toy holding on to first position now and uh, Bessie Bester is coming under a little bit of attack here from Neon de Toy. Neon trying to slip him down the main straight as they go towards KFM. Let's see who's late on the brakes. Bessie Bester, a wily old GTI driver, brings him Neon de Toy. Closes right down him, he smokes up the brakes, up the back end of Bessie. And uh, Neon looking to uh, take an inside line. Bessie puts the hammer down. What will Neon do? do? The two of them are toe to, nose to toe as they go up there. And they take the right hand and Neon looking towards the inside, takes the inside line, forces Bessie wide and brings Marco Bussi right up behind Bessie Besta, uh, Frankie. Well, that's uh, what uh, Neon needed. He needed to get his nose ahead there, uh, Bessie Besta, and try and secure that second place, which he's done. That will hopefully inspire Marco Bussi to go with. He needs to go with uh, Neon, otherwise he's going to lose out big time. He qualified second on the grid. He's now in P4 overall and in Class A. So he needs to get a bit of a move on there. Bessie on the other hand will say, I need to try and stay with a Neon de Toy for as long as I possibly can because when they cross the line, they will have three more laps to go. Let's go down to Class B. That's been led there by Zaki Hendricks. It's a massive lead there. Well, not that massive because here comes Craig de Toy. The toy in second place, Piet van der Walt in third. Then it's uh, Damon Lopez. Lopez is now ahead of Eden Thompson as they run down the back uh, straight into Cape Town corner. But uh, the dice in Class C, that is the drive goal for Abraham Levy. The 2015 champion is right behind him. That is Paul Simon. We've got a spinner. That is, uh, no, that is Lopez. That is Damon Lopez. And somebody has gone into the side of Lopez or oh, just taken evasive action down there. It's all happening in Class C as the Class B man Lopez. Oh, the track is sort of blocked from what I can make out up here. I cannot see all the way down into the exit of Turn 5. But it looks like if, uh, well the golf is on the grass but I'm not too sure how high up the uh, polo is on the uh, outside R5 and uh, I've just been informed by the radio that the red flag has been called for red flag has been called for we have got well three more laps to go if we are done I don't know that's the 60 odd 75 percent of the race they might call it a, like a, a full race I don't know we'll have to wait and see what the uh, the powers that be say regarding that one. Well, the cut on the track when they came out of pits, I said sit tight. 
the action's going to happen. It is near seen or me. No, I tell you what, it's happening out there. As the lights go off and away we go again. Four, away we go again for the third time as they roll down into turn one. And you've got to feel sorry for Shane Detroit because that massive lead that he had, he's all gone now with the third restart of GTI Challenge. However, it is Shane that leads coming up to you, burst straight into engine corner. This has benefited Marco Busi because Busi has now leapfrogged Bessie Bester into second position with the Neon Detroit on the inside of Zaki Hendricks who still leads who still leads uh, Class A or B with the Craig the Toy there on his inside. Then it's Eden Thompson. Behind Eden Thompson, it's the leader of Class C. That's Ephraim Levy. Then it's the Class B Polo of uh, Piet van der Waal, second in Class C. And the Class C champion is uh, Paul Simon. Simon is right in there as well as the field rolls down. It looks like it could be um, Jonathan Aberdeen. That's the next one out there. We'll just get confirmation. Yes, it is. And behind him is Gerard Duplessis. So Gerard did take to the circuit. Gideon Saffontaine is the next one. But France, when they come around, they'll have two laps to go. And still leading us. So he's saying the toy. But now the pressure's on with Neon the toy and Marco Busi. Well, the toy versus the toy as they come towards the uh, start finish line. Shane holding off Neon behind him. Bessie Bester. Bessie Bester's got a great drive there. Sorry, I said Neon. Uh, uh, Barcode was Bessie. But uh, they got on him to KFM. And uh, some great racing up front here. But we seem to have lost Busi. Busi has gone off somewhere or has slowed down. So I'm not quite sure where he's gone. I think that is, there's Marco Busi standing right up against the, the wall down there by Scrutineering. So Marco sadly retires with the two laps left. Well, in the front, the leader's coming out of engine now. It's Neon up behind Shane the Toy. They go through the king down towards Rose. Bessie Bester closes down right up in the back of Neon the Toy. Great drive coming through the king there. He's actually got to break hard to avoid bumping into the Neon. The three drivers there going up the KFM straight towards turn four. They uh, can literally smell each other's fumes as they go down the Malmesbury and come down the back straight here. Shane de Toys still holding uh, onto his first position with Neon ensuing and behind them Bessie Bester. It's got a little bit of bad drive coming out of Malmesbury but still holding onto a credible uh, third position. But Frankie, look at this tussle here for fourth between uh, Craig de Toy and Zaki Hendricks. And uh, Piet van der Waal pulls right up behind them. He's also looking for a way through there. And uh, let's see as they go down. Oh, the smoke pulls up and divers running wide, regaining. Oh, Zaki Hendricks is off the circuit. The leader of Class B is off the track. I think he overcooked it. Zaki is going to rejoin. Yes, he does. But he's now right at the back of the pack. I'm not too sure what happened there. But Zaki lost out big time. But back to what you were saying. Let's have a look at this Class B. Uh, action down into KFM corner. It is Craig the Toy, it's Eden Thompson, and it's Piet van der Waal. They are one, two, and three in class B now with Hendricks. That's dropped further down. Class C has now been led there by Piet, uh, sorry, by Paul Simon. Simon now on the last lap leads class C with Epon Levy right in there with him in second place. Third is Jonathan Aberdeen, but Aberdeen runs wide, and here comes Ger to proceed. Well, just as you're talking there, Neanderthal ran wide in engine, brought Bessie Bester with him, and Bessie took him down in Rose Foundation into the right hand of KFM. So, uh, Bessie now in second place, and he's going to be chasing down uh, Shane Detoy. Shane Detoy now is unfortunately stretching his legs, but about a three-second lead ahead of Bessie. But brings Neon Detoy. Neon feeling very dejected about that mistake. He comes straight back at Bessie, and Bessie slowing down. Oh dear, what is wrong with Bessie's car? Bessie Bester and Eden Thompson. Eden Thompson is now ahead of uh, uh, Craig Detoy. So Eden Thompson coming back and brings Pierre out of vault. So the flag is out and Frankie bring him up. Well, you will come to the line. This is going to be action personified. The leader is going to be Shane Detroit. He deserves this win. Neon Detroit second, Busy Bester third in Class A. But here we go with Class B. That's Craig Detroit that leads him down to the line. Diving to the outside. It's Piet van der Waal. That's Craig Detroit, Piet van der Waal. Eden Thompson, Paul Simon, Ephraim Levy. Oh, no, don't dive, Zaki. Maybe just put Kerti Plessy there. We'll check on the monitor. Um, uh, Zaki Hendricks did. Zaki Hendricks did.
in this empty, a certain duplicity.